Okay, you can see the, the little mark on that. And there's one right there on the compressor wheel. And there's also one on the turbine wheel. And this is kind of how it goes, the nut, compressor wheel, um, the, the uh, oil retaining housing goes onto the uh, rubber -o piston ring clip that holds the oil, uh, keeps the oil from uh, leaking out. And then the thrust washer, another uh, thrust bearing, the piston ring that goes onto the compressor wheel, uh, the housing that goes on the back of the turbine housing, or the uh, uh, cartridge housing, two uh, journal bearings, and then there's a, a blasted uh, turbine wheel. And I've already installed the two O-rings on the inside and the outside, and I cleaned up the housing, so uh, still a little rusty. I didn't worry about blasting the outside, but I cleaned the inside, so it's not too bad. And then here's the housing for the uh, kind of clean it up and then clean the surface because this has the internal, the, uh, uh, internal blow off valve, and you can see it's a TO4 16T. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, a little bit of fun. Hopefully this goes pretty smooth and I can get this thing on by the weekend and finally have a uh, boost again. I'm also, where did that go? I'm also upgrading the spring for the blow valve. Um, and here's kind of like my little package of, of uh, goodies. You can see the new blow valve springs. Uh, I'm going to go with the blue one. The blue one's uh, 12 pound red one's 20 pounds and then this is actually a, a billet aluminum retainer instead of a, a plastic one which uh, helps a lot because then you don't have to worry about there's the little housing on mine I'm on my car right now and that thing's ripped so I only build uh, zero pounds of boost and then it starts blowing through the, the tear in the in the in the diaphragm so I'm not building any boost right now which sucks because I can't pass anybody so uh, I'll kind of do step by step. Okay, this is probably um, one of the most important parts. You don't want to, this little piston ring right here. Um, when you're putting it on the turbine shaft, you don't want to get it bent or get it spread because it'll be very difficult to, to get in the uh, cartridge. So you put this down through here and then you just kind of kind of angle it and then you're going to want to get it right back here you're going to want it to go all the way back there so you kind of okay and it goes on just like that so just like that see it's on there okay sweet so now that that's done we'll go install the uh, front one so we'll put this off to the back side okay so this is going to go in through here like that and then you're going to have to get this little guy little piston ring right here around this like so so now it's in the groove, ready to go. So, now you can push this right here into this. Okay, you got the piston ring in there and it's nice and tight, good to go. Yeah, so now this piece, well, that's not rush this. Okay. So we're going to flip this over. This is gonna go on next, like so. Like so. Move this journal bearing up. Get it all nice and And then we're just going to slide it in there. And that is pretty much it for that side. Now, after that's in there, 
We got our piston ring on there and can add some nice lube to that. That's the lube. I need a little bit more. Training fluid is like super thin, so and then you just slip in the shaft. Hammer that in, and now you have your piston ring in there. I guess we can kind of set it up right here. Get this other journal bearing in there. Rub some lube on that thing. Rub it on. Rub it on there. Rub it on there. This goes right down in there. Okay. Okay, you can see it just goes right in there. It sits in there like that. One. There we go. See it? Right in there around the shaft. Okay. And okay. The next thing, next thing that goes in is a 360 degree. Uh, a thrust collar. And that goes in like this with the edge facing up and just right in there like that. And then next is our thrust washer. Make sure that little little uh, hole right there that supplies oil to the bearing for the thrust washer is uh, on the back side so that it goes in like this and you it goes in right there there's no bolts or anything on these ones and it goes straight in washer and then it's held kind of axial by that little that little uh, dowel pin the dowel pin holds it in and if you want, well, you're probably going to be using, usually I use assembly lube on these things, but I'd add some oil to it. Some oil to this thing. Let me get my desk oily. It's all in the, it's all in the quest for power. Make sure we spin it. Not bound up by anything. Okay. Now we're gonna stick this on. This edge goes in there. I'll show you guys. This little cup goes into that and goes straight down like so. And this is held in by a C clip. Make sure that we're good. And actually, something we're probably going to want to do before we smash that in there is give this O ring some lubrication on the edge. Okay. Give our O ring some lubrication. Now we can stick this piece in, make sure you get that little cup right there into that hole for an oil return from the thrust washer. So there's that. When you push it in, you're going to kind of have to give her a little, a little push 
down a little seal I think so and she's in So now you can use the new C-clip. I prefer to use the old ones. I don't know why, it's just a preference. Turbo, all the way back together. I had to put the snap rings, uh, I had to do the snap rings at work because I didn't have any snap ring pliers. So, as you can see, uh, that snap ring is in there and this thing looks fucking dope looks dope